He said, it's not the fights that destroy you. It's the gym that destroys you. It's the sparring. Oh, yeah. Those are the rounds that destroy fighters. Oh, yeah. And it's like the hundreds and hundreds of rounds to thousands of rounds that you're fighting that nobody sees, that you're not getting paid for, you're taking that punishment, headgear or not, that's what you're seeing at the end of a fighter's career. Do you remember, was it Danny Jacobs Jr.? Who was it that, um, that said that they stopped sparring? Oh, yeah. Who the fuck was it? <laughs> uh, well, he was fighting Kovalev, and that was Anthony Yard. That's right. That's right. That's not that right. he stopped sparring. He said he never sparred. Yeah. And no one believes him. But yeah. <laughs> And then anyone who does is like, well, you probably should have been sparring. <laughs> yeah. He looked great in moments in that fight. Like, was it like the eighth round where he had Kovalev and deep shit? Yeah, man. Yeah, that was a crazy thing. Like, his philosophy, if I remember it correctly, Yard's philosophy was if you don't get hit at all in training, you will be so much fresher when you get to the ring. So he was doing just ridiculous mitt work and bag work and drills, and he already knew how to box. So his idea was that he will have some sort of an advantage. And he was a really fairly green guy. Well, yeah, I mean, this was but, his first really big fight. Yeah, but really physically talented and just built like a brick shit house. And still is all those things. Yes. But I think the rub is that you do have to spar. You know, you, you have to feel shots. I didn't hear anybody be like, yeah, that, that made sense. <laughs> no, it's no, just it part of it. You, you find that a little bit in MMA now. Donald Cerrone was doing that for a while. He wasn't sparring at all. He was just doing pad work and just doing wrestling drills and stuff like that, kickboxing drills. Yeah, listen, if, if pad work and like a really good workout could make you world champion, I'd be like three-time world champion by now. That's not yeah. it. Sparring is a reality check. Like, it, yeah, you, you know what it. I mean? You need you it. You need it. Yeah. Otherwise, you're just like doing aerobics. Yeah, you need to be tuned in to movement to and also to danger to be able to exist and to, to be able to fire under pressure. You have to you have to take shots. You have to yeah. absorb those shots. Keep your eyes open like this. Yeah. Like all of these things you can't you're, you can't download them. Yeah. You but, can't simulate them. But you can only do that so many times. That's yeah. the other thing. It's like That's there's only the so many times you can survive it, you know? And gym wars are real. They they take a toll on people. Yeah. 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 Do you work with boxers at all? Box, yeah, sparring. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if they go to the boxing gym, it's like a war, right? Like, oh, yeah. Yeah, in the UK. Especially if, you, if you're an MMA fighter. If you go, oh. to, if you go to like a boxing gym, my coach would always, always take them to that like, gym and be like, okay, you spar this pro. So I was like, just coming out bloody and just having a, having like a tear up. It's never a, like a play spa. It's always like a, if you're going to spar a boxer, you're going to have a war. That doesn't seem like a lot of fun. <laughs> nah, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> How do you approach sparring? You see like Max Holloway, his yeah. last fight didn't spar at all and looked fucking amazing. Like one of his best performances yeah. against Calvin Cater. I got a teammate that does it as well, Tom Breeze. He, yeah. he, he's the same way. He's, Breeze he, doesn't spar? No. Really? Don't. Yeah, his last two, three fights, he's, he's, so he, he doesn't want to do it. Um, That's interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I think each each to their own, right? How um, does he do it? Does he do drills where he just like simulations of, of yeah, it'll, situations? It'll like, yeah, like situations or like play spar, you know, just like range finders, shots, he's not really getting like hit properly so for me I, I prefer sparring and I spar twice a week in camp do you play do you play spar like do you do you touch light or do you blast like do you full so, power sparring so session one spar a week would be big gloves which is you can go harder in big gloves and then um, on the Saturday is little gloves which is the, the bumper gloves and that's more like play spar normally end up in like a grappling match because it's small gloves it always it's hard to pull your shots right in small right. gloves so um, yeah so it's like one hard on the Wednesday, then Saturday is more like a technical working through your techniques. Or... Yeah, because it's so interesting how the ties do it, because they fight so often that when yeah, they yeah. spar, they're just kind of yeah, touching yeah, each other yeah, and playing yeah. with each other. And it's interesting if you talk to guys like, you know, John Wayne Parr, guys who trained in Thailand, yeah. he said there's a lot of wisdom to that because when you spar hard, you don't try things. Yeah. You know, you don't, you, you're, you're always worried about the consequences, yeah. but you can you can hone your fine reflexes by just light sparring because you don't worry about the consequences as much. And they're already tough. They already know how to fight. There's so many different philosophies when it comes to sparring. Yeah, it's so different, right? Because Russians, Russians do the same thing in wrestling. 
um, they rested for like five hours a day, but they just like drove, not like going hard, 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 you know, they're more just like just drilling technique and mm -hmm. just drill, play, play technique, you know, they don't resist, you know, and so if you add it up over the years, probably way more hours in the gym than what you're doing if you're going hard, hard, hard every day. So mm, I see where they're coming from, but I think it's different. I think you have to, for me anyway, you have to get that that hit right when someone they, they're coming at you full pace then you can get your reflex in i like to feel the shots before going into a fight let's say i didn't spar for the whole camp i'll be paranoid but i like, can I still take a punch <laughs> you know so i want to feel that i can you know i think everyone's different it's just interesting that you were able to fight and to train a full camp for a guy like Volkanovski, especially a rematch, with no sparring, with no partners, with no nothing. Yeah, we, we had a lot of mental training. You know, it was a lot of mental things and... Um, like visualization? Yeah, so even just think of new ways to move or I, I got to think of ways to set up stuff. Like I just had more time to myself to think about act the actual fight and whatever. And then even with the uh, the second fight for the Qatar, we didn't spar, but I moved with my partners, you know, we grappled or we had stand up, we had ideas of uh, this is how he moves. So I just got used to, to the movement and we keyed on, on certain things and that's it. But was nothing ever like cracking you, you know, like, I mean, you know how it is. You see all these guys, they say like, oh, I got hurt sparring. That's how my injuries came. I got hurt from grappling hard or sparring hard. So if you just take that out, you know, like, you get a 200% of yourself, but everybody think I'm, you know, I'm telling the young kid to stop sparring. I'm not telling the young kid to stop sparring. When I was 16, I had to spar, but you spar enough to the points where everything happens. I fought injured. I sparred injured. You know, I got, I got hurt. I had to come through stuff. You need these times before the show, because when it comes in the show and you get hurt in a fight or something, you panic. You get buzzed in the fight, you panic. But then if you do it in the sparring or these amateur fights, then it's it's simple but when you, you get, get to that you, certain, you yeah to when you get to that certain point then you stop sparring and you save your brain because like right now i would say at least close to 91 percent of the ufc fighters you don't have to you know if you didn't come to the uh, contender series i think you don't have to spar anymore you know like we're all, we're all at a high level already of thinking and doing this like there's other ways that you could do to figure stuff out that's just what i think do you guys do a lot of drills with pads? Drills. Yeah, drills yeah. with pads or even drills, uh, drills on drills, you know, like mm -hmm. towards like a, a fighter. Yeah, towards come the fighter. at you with a punch yeah. and you'll yeah, step yeah, to the yeah. side and, and then we counter. practice it, yeah, mm -hmm. and I'll practice it, you know, like whenever I watch tape, we look for consistencies, mm -hmm. uh, guys that they do consistent movements all the time and we work for those movements and then we go, we apply and now it's much, it's much more easier to ask someone to, uh, replicate this guy for me while we're moving versus to ask someone to replicate somebody when we're sparring hard because right. i would spar hard with them they'll and then start they getting, back to yeah they'll style. start getting the ass beat and they'll be like Fuck, frick this i give him a better look when i'm uh, when i'm doing myself so i'm gonna go to that but that's not it you know right. like, even if you right. give me a better look as yourself i'm trying to i'm trying to get ready for this guy you know what i mean yeah. and, and a lot of people it, that's when ego and stuff come in yeah. and, and so on so on so i think uh i think so we figured out a way where it worked for me and uh, and you guys got to see you know it's like i just i felt so good my body everything was like Dude, you everything was fire. good yeah i just I, I felt great if you don't understand how good calvin cater is you don't understand how good your performance is